Hey guys, how you doing? Well, this is a general update of how the tank and the whole system has been running since December. As you guys know, uh, all of these corals came from my 55 gallon, but due to a center brace break, I had to swap everything in a hurry to this cube. Um, at the time, this cube was cycling. Um, Within a week, I had a pneumonia spike and everything else went stable within three weeks after swapping everything from the center brace break. As you can see, everything is doing fine, actually. Um, the current problem that I'm running in the system is that I'm running it too clean. Apparently, my Chato um, keeps everything undetectable and I am losing my Xenia and my GSP. Um, is that a good thing? Mm. Is that a bad thing? Mm. You guys say. Anyways, um, I had to uh, move around some of these uh, Zoas from the Zoa Garden because the Mellow Yellows was really conquering this area. And um, I just had to move everything. I actually fragged a few and gave it some, some uh, Facebook friends and so on and so forth. Is that yellow metal is really, really growing. Uh, as you can see, everything over here is doing fine. The plating mount is growing. The trachelia is growing. Uh, the Akine, not too much good news, but it has some babies going up. The Xenia is actually getting smaller. Um, smaller, smaller, smaller. The more I see it, it's just getting small. It's just trying to survive, really. Uh, the meat coral is doing fine. I actually just fed the meat coral and the trichophilia, so that's the reason why their tentacles are popping out. But they're doing fine. I love them. Uh, the mint pavona is not doing too, too great. I don't know if it has to do with the system being too clean, but it's actually dying off on some of the tips. And I'm going to have to start trimming that. Uh, the hammer crawl is actually splitting yet again. Now it's got three heads. I'm happy with that. It took so long to start growing this way, but I just don't have any luck ever since I lost the torch. The yellow scroll coal. Uh, it's still my favorite piece of the tank. I don't know, it's just something about this pole is just, it amazes me every time. It's just the pattern, the texture, the, the way it looks in general. I just love it. Uh, the candy cane garden, if you want to call it the purple and the teal, they're growing. They're growing pretty good. Spreading heads. Um, now the summer coral guys, look at it, it actually looks like a rock from this angle and from the camera. But if you look it up in close in person, it is an amazing piece. Um, all these bumps is, is just growing, 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 it's, it's filling out color now. All the growth is now turned green, except for the tips because you can still see that it's growing. So that's amazing to me. Give you another little angle, you can see the summer coral also um, it's, it just it looks beautiful I, I'm loving the growth since I got this in October um, those bumps just amaze me it looks beautiful absolutely beautiful stunning um, the green polyps uh, I moved it down uh, for the last update I actually had it very high up on top and apparently I think they didn't like too much lighting so I brought it back down they they're fluffing up just like how they used to always do. Um, the Devil's Hand is looking great. Tentacles all spacked out. Hasn't lost any more fingers. I think that's a good thing because I don't want to have Devil's Hand everywhere. But it is looking great. I'm very happy with it. The Red Plenty Monty is encrusting on one of the branches of the rock right there in the upper left corner you can see um, but it's growing pretty good uh, not as fast as I hoped but you know it's, it's growing you can still see the wider rim all the way around so that's a good thing 
it's still showing signs of growth. But it's, it's looking good. It's looking good. Let's keep it up that way. Now this is the side, the right side of the cube. So you can see how all the rock formation and the corals are doing. Um, everything is fine so far. You know, I, every time when I see something that I don't like it right there, or I see a coral not reacting, I kind of move it to see, um, you know, what's better for it. Um, because I, based on parameters and my water changes and everything, my routine is, is you know, it's all the same. So I really don't change anything. That's the growth of my coralline algae on the overflow box. Um, I'm actually starting to like it now. Before I didn't, but I'm starting to like it now. Um, it's actually growing more and more and more. And uh, I think it's because of the Kent Marine Sea Reef Salt Mix. It's, calcium is always between 5 and 550 on every batch I get, so it's gonna grow regardless. Um, the green neon cabbage, uh, one of the fingers of the devil's hand, and the latastra in the upper right corner. Mm, that doesn't grow really much ever since I got it. Another angle from the Zoas, as you can see, um, I did uh, frag a lot of that yellow mellow. Like I said, I sold a little bit on Facebook. So, you know, just to keep it under control, we got a hand. Uh, the Kenya tree, as long as it does not split, I'll keep this guy. Um, this is my hated coral, but he's looking better from the past two months. He's looking real, real good. You can see he's all blue due to the lighting spectrum of the LEDs. Um, oh, yeah, once, well, I'll tell you at the end. Anyways, um, another angle of the candy tree. It's recuperating. It's recuperating quite good compared to, I believe, April. Yeah, it was very, very bad looking. Um, the purple plume, purple plume, them tentacles, if you want to call them, um, they're growing very, very long. Um, they're not growing too. Uh, they're not actually growing at all in terms of height like that actual stalk stem is not really growing at all but the tentacles themselves are now this is the view so you can see from uh, side to side how the cube is going so you can see each in individual um, corals and how they're doing in their particular spots and uh, see how the LED lights is shining up on them um, I don't get much shadowing with these uh, LEDs, but so far so good. I'm very happy with these lights anyway. Um, the only reason why I don't like these LEDs is simply because of this camera. This camera does not, it doesn't do any justice of how these LEDs actually look in person. Like it doesn't look this blue at all. It, like, it, has, it does have a, a blue tint, but not this deep. Like the camera just completely takes over and it just, I mean, it's a hard time for me to uh, to focus on it and get a good angle every time. I have to redo it constantly. I, mean, I love the lights. I just, this camera for these lights is just not that great. Um, but I do get growth out of them. I don't complain about them. For what I paid for them, psh, cheap there but i paid like 120 for six bulbs and for this nano cube they're perfect they're perfect it's just a camera issue it's just video recording is what pisses me off about now there goes the famous giorgio chato mofa or the chato mofa uh, as you can see it's tumbling once again uh stupid me i did not take a video of my last trimming or haircut that i say for him it actually pushed over out of the five gallon bucket. I pushed it in and it would push right back out. I grew that much in three weeks. And as you can see, it, it just, it will tumble and tumble and tumble until it's big enough until it catches one of the corners or it catches the mesh uh, or the, uh, the mineral mud or something. Uh, but the sump is doing great, you know. Uh, 
see some snails, it cleans them up and this and that. But you know the flow rate is pretty good. You know the same light that I'm lighting this Chato is the same bulbs that I actually am lighting on my display. Um, this is another look of the Remora, the Aquasima Remora Pro S. And like I said, I still haven't had a reason to uh, take this protein skimmer out. It's supposed to be a hangout back sit, uh, system, but I actually have it on the 20 gallon sump. And as you can see, it's really dark. I have it right against the lights. Um, it, it does what it does, and I don't complain about it. The system doesn't suffer with it. Um, this is what I started with for my 29 gallon when I had everything hang on back. So, pretty much, the difference between the 29 gallon and this system right here is just the tank because almost all the equipment is exactly the same from the 29 gallon tank 29 uh, sorry six years ago so just the cube is the only thing that's different because it's, it's using the same substrate is using the same rocks it's using the same equipment in terms of the sump when I did connect the sump to the 29 gallon everything is identical the only thing that I made different was the cube and the stand that's it um, but this is the surface as you can see the surface agitation it's, it's not bad it looks good to me the corals don't seem to suffer with it I see good flow um, it's all it is it's just a return pump and a circulating pump that's behind the rock work that uh, reef girl suggested and it's been doing fine it's doing real real fine so for now I'm happy everybody's happy you know, I do have a slow growth. Maybe I need to start dosing. Don't know. But other than that, everything's good. This is just a short little update to see how it's been doing for the past six months. Take care, guys. Peace.